Hello guys, here Grandmaster Emilio Cordova from Peru. Welcome to my channel, Cordova Chess. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do today with you is to share the five basic principles that you need to know. First, try to always, always, always control and occupy the center. Number two, always, it is very important, try to complete your pieces development, all of them, including your works. Number three, try always to not bring your queen so early on during the opening because your queen is a very powerful piece and therefore your queen can be, could be easily harassed. So that's very important to know. Number four, try to secure your king because your king needs to be in a safe zone. Your king is the most important piece, the most valuable piece and needs to be guarded. So remember that. Number five, in this particular case, it will be the initiative. A chapter that we are going to cover in our next videos, not today. So let me just show you a very interesting game. So in that way, you will understand better the concept. This is what it means occupying the center. We are occupying the center. And this is what it means controlling the center. We are not physically occupying, but we are extending our power over the center. In this particular case, the pawn on e5. So we are forcing our opponent to guard this pawn. The most natural move and logical move will be something related like knight g6. A move very similar. If you're attacking my pawn with an eye, I would rather do something like guarding my pawn with an eye or with a pawn or even with a bishop sometimes. But for sure, what we should not do it sounds like queen to f6, guys. So this is very important because we are bringing our queen so early on. So therefore, the queen can be easily punished because it's a, such a powerful piece. And that is what it happened in this game. So bishop c4 pointing against the pawn on f7. Then obviously we are completing our pieces development. So why not? This guy tried to attack our bow's pawns. Now he's attacking on e4 and now he's attacking on g2. So now we need to make a decision about what to do. For sure, the pawn that we don't want to lose is the pawn on e4. But at the same time, we don't want to lose the pawn on g2. So that's why here we just, well, we just need to make this simple decision. Castling, securing our king, completing our pieces development, following the, the, the five basic principles, you know? We are following the, those principles because that's the idea. This guy makes the brave and at the same time serve your rational decision to capture the pawn. And then what it happened is just boom. Bishop on f7, exploding on f7. I cannot capture the bishop because therefore, boom, another fork. And then I will be losing that queen. So that's why I cannot recapture the bishop. So for uh, our own safe, or in this case, black safes, I will have to go to e7. I mean, probably will have it better to go to the a. But in this case, this game was played in 1800. So back then, it was really hard to come up with this idea of not uh, not being brave. So king to e7, and now the king and the queen are placed on the same column. So these two pieces can be easily harassed by the white pieces. Rook to e1, targeting the queen. And now, obviously, black is in real danger. That's why you don't you don't want to bring your queen so early on during the opening. Believe me, that's not a good idea. So the queen goes to f4, and here, obviously, we could do many winning moves. I don't want to uh, involve too much in in the, all the lines and all the the nuances of this position. But I just want to show you how this guy as why well made a decision to play. Rook takes e5. Boom, forcing the black king to, to make a decision. If I go to the a, you will maim me. And if I go to d6, well, then my king will be really exposed, and for sure, may should solo at some point. So in this guy, in this particular case, this guy captured the bishop, and now d4. Why I do this? Well, I'm including my pieces, and I'm including my bishop, and activating my bishop. So that's a good thing. So now I have to retreat to f6, and now boom, the cavalry has arrived. Jumbo pony on the field. Jumbo pony on the area. On the pony on the run. So now it's just almost made in the black king. So now the king have to go to g6. Now we include the lady, the queen. And if the king goes to a6, what we're what it's going to happen is double checkmate. Check with the bishop, check with the knight, and you can move. So against a double check, you just have just one option that it will be moving your king but not in this case. So that's why the king was forced to go to h5, and now we are going to strike that king, forcing the king to get it into the dark forest. Now the king is forced to get it into the dark forest, and now what it happens is just 
Checkmate. 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 Hacky Matty in Spanish, obviously, guys. So with that said, well, I just want to remind you, try to follow the five basic principles. First, always try to control and occupy the center. Number two, try to complete your pieces development, including your two rooks. Try to connect your two rooks. After you connect your two rooks, you can say like, oh, I have completed my pieces development. So, yay, I did a pretty good job. Number three, please don't, don't try to include your queen so early on on the game. Don't do that during the opening. Queen safety is important. So please try to keep your queen, unless that is really necessary. Don't try to include your queen so early on during the battle. Number four, try to secure your king. It is very important to understand that. You have to secure your king no matter what, because at the end of the day, the king is the most important piece. It's our heart, it's everything. Number five, if particular case, it will be five for the initiative. And that's a chapter that we are going to cover in our next video. So thank you so much, guys, for sharing, for staying here. I will read your comments. Please don't be mean. <laughs> thank you so much for, for watching this video. And I will wait for you. And I will read your comments, obviously. So thank you so much for staying in uh, Cordoba Chess channel. So we are just trying to build a community of chess. I will read your comments and I will hear your thoughts. Whatever doubt that you could have, please let me know. So bless you all. Take care, fellows.